taking this bill to the House? Uh, Mr. Speaker, I call Paul Eagle. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And look, it's uh, an always enjoyable to stand up in the House and talk on anything related to local government. So uh, it's, it's my be oh, oh, it's the honourable member for Hutt South. Don't get me going. Uh, I don't want to say dishonourable because that would be dishonourable. But what I do want to say is, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I do want to uh, just acknowledge my colleagues on the Governance and Administration Committee. Uh, it's a pity I, I wasn't too attentive during these, uh, these hearings because I wasn't there. But look, I, I had a great, uh, I've got a great relationship with my colleagues. It's a pretty collegial committee and probably one of the better ones, in fact, probably the best select committee, dare I say it. But uh, we talk, uh, we debate, uh, but we get on and we look at the things uh, they are important to local communities, and so I want to acknowledge uh, the, the, the hard work that that committee does. The local member uh, uh, for Nelson, he has been there so long, I thought uh, his colleague was going to mention a, maybe a valedictory next week or something, but that is not the case. Um, but I do want to just acknowledge, uh, I think His Worship, uh, the, the Mayor is here from the mighty Tasman, welcome. Uh, to the capital city um, and other officials who put this together. Look, I don't want to repeat what's been said. Uh, those upstairs and on TV will be going, God, how boring. But what, um, what I do want to just um, look through, are just some, it's, it's been interesting. I had a, a look back at um, uh, the Department of Internal Affairs report, and I just want to just sort of balance up some of the views. And, one thing I did have uh, since I last spoke was uh, just some feedback from local people uh, coming from local government. You know, you've got to, um, what did they say? Yeah, let's get to it. So I, I, I had uh, Victoria Davis and Lewis Solomon uh, write to me, um, and they just wanted me to be aware, to balance up just some of the um, submissions that were made, and they. Um, and so it was interesting, when I went back through it, 137 submissions, actually 57 in support, and they made the comment that uh, 27 would benefit or stand to gain, uh, or profit was the word that was used, 20 neither for nor against, and 60 opposed. Um, and Mr Solomon, for example, a qualified electrical engineer of 25 years' experience at Nelson Pine, I guess what I'm really saying is that uh, these people bring um, some, some concerns, some valid concerns to the table, um, but if I reflect back on my speech that I made, one of the big things that local government has to do and should do is make some bold calls. And this is, I think, a bold call. Um, infrastructure, those smaller districts and that, are, sometimes find it a bit tough uh, to, to get the dollars together to say we need to uh, look at the, the unsexy stuff. Um, and that's generally the infrastructure, but I know and I can see a former mayor opposite me that, that you've got to make the big calls and invest wisely on things like this that will carry the district through. Maybe they'll amalgamate one day. Oh, God, I shouldn't mention that. Um, but maybe um, for the next century they'll have uh, infrastructure in place, core infrastructure, um, that will serve their community. And I guess that's the decision they've made we're certainly supporting it, uh, and I'm proud that we are, because it would be easy, I know, as a former uh, local elected, uh, le elected member, um, that many a time it was the unsexy stuff that people couldn't see, they didn't want to see, the price tag had lots of zeros in it, um, but actually you do have to make these calls, uh, and someone's got to be bold enough uh, look, I don't know if the mayor will get re-elected re over this, but good luck to him next year. Local body elections are less than a year away. Good luck. Um, but I'm sure um, he'll have a narrative and a story and a product, really, that he'll be able to say, this is my legacy to the district and to Te Tau Ihu, the top part of the South Island, um, and say, look, this is, this is good for the people. So, Look, I'm not going to talk too much. I know the member of Hutt South gets a bit nervous when I talk, but um, I'll, I just want to commend this bill to the House, Mr Speaker. I call Marama Davidson. 
Tina, kui iti mangai o te fare, tena tato katoa, Mr. Speaker.